If you missed it yesterday, I talked about how Jez Corden broke the story about how Xbox is developing a handheld. Well, today we have a whole bunch of stories specifically from Polygon.com about how Phil Spencer really wants an Xbox handheld and how they do it differently. Let's talk about all of the updates that broke after I recorded my video right now. So real quick to recap what happened over the weekend, basically Jez Corden said that uh, they're making handheld prototypes right now. These are new prototypes. They're not a cloud handheld, a fully native Xbox handheld. Uh, we know that Sarah Bond talked about how there's more to come. There's exciting stuff coming out in hardware that they're going to share this holiday. And if we, if we rewind all the way back to the FTC case, there was actually a really, really interesting snippet about how this could potentially all work. One document release mentions this new Xbox system will be a next generation hybrid game platform with development kits slated to launch in 2027. More interestingly, the document you can view above mentions a thin OS for a sub $99 consumer or handheld devices, implying that Microsoft may release a handheld device dedicated to cloud games. Now, Jez Corden did clarify that the device in question today is not about cloud gaming. This is about native games on an Xbox handheld. Well, apparently uh, Phil Spencer was talking a whole bunch about handhelds for whatever reason during GDC and capitalizing on the current news, we have this great interview from Polygon. It's from Chris Plant over at Polygon. And Chris wrote uh, from his interview with Phil Spencer, I want my Lenovo Legion Go to feel like an Xbox, Spencer told Polygon in an interview during the annual GDC conference. I brought the Legion Go with me to GDC. I'm on the airplane and I have this list of everything that makes it feel not feel like an Xbox. Forget about the brand. More like, sorry for the squeakies. Are all of my games there? Do all my games show up with the save files that I want? I'll tell you one game that doesn't right now. It's driving me crazy. It's Fallout 76. It doesn't have cross save. And cross save is a, is a feature that we've kind of come to enjoy and expect from the games that we play. Think about a game like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, I don't believe that one has cross save. And we have Fallout 76 doesn't have cross save. It's a big deterrent for somebody like me that would like to jump back and forth between the different platforms where I have played those games as opposed to having to start over uh, with different saves. I think it was just developed at a time before that was implemented. But there's this, there's a larger interview and it's really, really interesting coming out right after I did the story yesterday because Jez was talking about it where Chris Plant has all these quotes. So the first one we read was in green. He says, I want to be able to boot into the Xbox app in a full screen, but in a compact mode and all my social experiences there. Like I want it to feel like the dash of my Xbox when I turn on the television, except I want it on those devices. According to Spencer, the Xbox hardware team led by Rowan Sones is considering different hardware form factors and things that they could go do as it plans the future of Xbox hardware. What should we build that will find new players? Spencer said, that will allow people to play at times when they couldn't go play in the past. So real quick, there's a lot of conversations right now about how Xbox is struggling in the hardware business and how Xbox needs to find new ways to get customers in as Phil Spencer is alluding to in this interview, just like I got to figure out new ways to come up with a subscribe button plug every episode and asking you to hit that like button, right? You got to figure out new ways to get customers in the door. And hopefully I give you a little bit of giggle when I do those. Uh, here's what Dring said. He said he spoke to a few I lost my headset. Where'd I put my headset? Uh, he spoke to a few uh, developers during during GDC. And largely, here, here's what they had to say. Let's cut over to it. And we're just going to listen to the first few seconds. You might have seen this floating around the internet. Hardware usually gives a bit of a boost. But... Well, it's interesting with Xbox, because that, that's the other thing I heard. Mm. I heard it from a very prominent company, and one not so prominent, um, was um, Xbox's performance in Europe is, is just flatlining. And um, if, you, you can follow our monthly coverage in the games market you can see that xbox sales are falling and it's been falling all, it fell all throughout last year and it's falling even harder this year um the the um uh the phrase one major company who released a big game last year said i don't know why we bothered supporting it 
Wow. And um, and it's an interesting. We already got. We mentioned the previous podcast. We'd heard that retailers in Europe were considering um, uh, well, or, or had already been cutting back their Xbox stock on their shelves. And- so he goes on to sort of talk about how much extra work has to be done to get a game ported to the Xbox Series S to the Xbox Series X and. This came out at the same time where Phil Spencer is giving this interview uh, well at GDC and, you know, Jez Corden is reporting about them getting into the handheld market. What if there's going to be some sort of uh, cross collaboration, for lack of a better term, between the handheld and the console device and the PC, and it's sort of all intermingling and it's the perfect time for Xbox to launch it, really. Like the console hardware, it's sort of, you know, doing whatever it's doing. It's not doing terribly or by any means, but um, it's definitely not where Xbox wants it to be by their own admission. Um, everybody's f- cutting their forecast for hardware, PlayStation included. So if Xbox is in third place and, and they're cutting their hardware uh, forecasts, maybe it's a great time to release a handheld. And the more that I sit on this and think about it, I think it's it's a smart play. And Phil Spencer coming back from GDC has just blabbed, <laughs> blabbed a whole bunch about the idea of an Xbox handheld. He continued on. In our expansive interview, this is from Polygon, Spencer described two approaches to making Xbox available on handhelds, the hardware versus the software approach. As he said, he has strong feelings about what an Xbox handheld device should feel like. But he also recognizes, having learned from the console business, that players may choose brands other than Xbox. For those players, Spencer Spencer wants to improve the Xbox handheld gaming software experience, too, particularly for people who have devices running Windows like the Legion Go or the and the Ally. So he's referencing devices that have Windows on them, and he's just saying the overall experience isn't great. So hopefully this is going to lead to Microsoft looking at how their games are being presented on these devices. Clearly, it is very important for Phil Spencer to get this right and for Microsoft to get this right uh, because they need to focus on how their gaming experiences are delivered on anything, their own platforms, even competitor platforms. I like the fact that Valve, Lenovo, and Asus went out and innovated in a new form factor. And I will say that when I'm playing on those devices, it almost feels more like a console than a PC nine times out of 10. The things that usually frustrate me are more Windows-based than device-based, which is an area I feel some ownership of. Like, I want to be able to log in with a controller. I've got my list of things we should go do. Phil Spencer is thinking about this. He, it's obviously on his mind. Like, he's he's basically fallen short of announcing a whole new handheld. But if we go back to that quote with Sarah Bond, we've got more to come. There's some exciting stuff coming out in hardware that we're going to share this holiday. We're also in- invested in the next generation roadmap. What we're really focused on there is delivering the largest technical leap you will have ever seen. So she's talking about, of course, the, the next generation hardware. All signs to me are pointing to a handheld, though. I mean, time's going to tell, but it is really, really interesting and I, I think it's time. Everybody has talked about Xbox going into the handheld market for so long. You know, I think it would be really interesting. From a game creator standpoint, Spencer said, I can then go and build a single version of my game that spans more hardware and reaches more customers. So he's thinking about it from the developer's perspective and the impact of Microsoft asking them to develop for the S and X and and now a handheld. But anyway, and I would say for players, it reduces the friction. Like if I want to go play my console games on the go with a handheld, I don't want to only be able to buy one brand of handheld, right? I want everything that we're doing in the hardware space to be great. But if somebody chooses to go play today somewhere else, I don't want them to feel like a lesser Xbox player. I think it's important, said Spencer, you and I, we've been around for a couple of days. Look at the real inflection points in our industry. Look like, look at the Wii. It was hardware innovation that was linked with great software innovation. I think they're making a handheld. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. That was the latest update, a pretty notable uh, update from Polygon. And I, I dropped the Christopher Dring thing in there because, you know, they have to be looking at how their hardware is doing and thinking maybe it's time to do something a little bit crazy this time around. And, and I would love the idea of Microsoft getting into the handheld business, not just Xbox, 
Microsoft. So hopefully what do they develop is just good across the board, regardless if you decide to buy their proprietary device or some third party thing. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. If you like my content, I do appreciate you very much watching. Thank you so much to the members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, you can click that join button right down there. It does support the channel. Thank you very much. Now, if you want to see part one of this video, basically Jez Corden talked about it yesterday uh, on the hardware side. So you can go check out the, the handheld video I made about the next gen hardware. And if you want to see what's going on with the PS5 Pro, you can check out that video up there. Either one, it's your choice. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.